According to a report by military intelligence, over 50,000 refugees from Bangladesh, Sri Lanka and Myanmar are currently residing in Kerala using fake documents. New space research and technology is developed high-altitude pseudo-satellite has achieved an impressive flight time of 27 hours and reached an altitude of 26,000 feet. Hindustan Aeronautics HJT-36 Sitara Intermediate Jet Trainer is expected to receive final clearance later this year, paving the way for user trials and potential production. The deal for 156 Prachand Light Combat Helicopters is expected to be cleared at the next CCS meeting. The flag-off ceremony of Drishti 10 UAV and UAV launched precision guided munition to the Indian Army has been postponed to June 2024. The CEO of Turkish Aerospace Industries has sparked a debate by claiming that the Khan fifth-generation fighter jet will surpass the American F-35, and he even suggested comparing Khan to the F-22 Raptor. Pakistan has conducted successful training launch of FATAR-2 system based on Chinese MLRS, that is capable of engaging targets with high precision up to a range of 400 kilometers. The Indian Army has set up two new medium maintenance facilities at Nyoma and DBO sector in eastern Ladakh for tanks and armored vehicles for extreme cold conditions. The three weeks long joint exercise between NSG and US Special Operations Forces has culminated at Kolkata. On behalf of Government of India, the Indian High Commissioner handed over second tranche of 40 metric tons of humanitarian assistance for flood affected Kenya. The SU-57 incorporates radar-absorbing materials and the specialized design to minimize its radar signature, but it is estimated to have an radar cross-section of about 0.1 square meters at the front and 1 square meters on the sides, which indicates that while the SU-57 possesses stealth features, but it might not be as stealthy as American stealth aircraft. Estimates for the Rafale's radar cross-section also ranges from 0.1 to 1 square meters, which means that the stealth characteristics of the Rafale and the Russian Su-57 are actually the same. The Aeronautical Development Agency has prioritized the development of a Stobar variant of TED BF aircraft, aligning with the capabilities of the two existing aircraft carriers of the Indian Navy, and latest reports indicate that the Aeronautical Development Agency is simultaneously developing a Kato Bar variant of the TED BF aircraft, to leverage the full potential of the third aircraft carrier, that will utilize a catapult to launch aircraft. The Indian Army has procured 300 units of the TVS Sundaramol train tactical hauler, that has been built in collaboration with Maram Dolphin of Israel. It is a hybrid electric powered load carrying solution, that is available in both 2x2 and 4x4 variants, and can carry up to 120 kg of weight over any train, and will ensure that soldiers remain fully combat effective and mobile on the battlefield. The Indian Army is all set to begin receiving another set of Russia Nigla S very short range air defense systems by the end of this month. 48 Tigla S launchers, 100 missiles, 48 night sites and one missile testing station were ordered under a 260 crore rupees contract under the fourth tranche of emergency procurements in 2023, and they are being assembled by Adani Defence Systems and Technologies Limited under technology transfer from Rosperon Export. Bharat Dynamics Limited has said, that the company aims to ramp up production of Astra Mark 1 to 100 missiles annually, and this ambitious target is likely in anticipation of major order for 500 Astra Mark 1 missiles from the Indian Air Force. The company is also in talks with several Su-30 operators for the export of the Astra Mark 1 missile, that will replace aging Russian R-77, that are simply outdated when compared to Western Amarams and even Chinese PL-15. Today's top 3 comments.